You had an experience here, right? Yes. Okay. And it was captured in a picture. So I want to know if we can possibly, hopefully, we come across that same spirit that we came across, and I can, you can explain it to me, because okay. I have no knowledge oh, of what it is, right. and I've been thinking about it, and it's kind of scared me for a long time, just because of the fact that, why, why me? So you know the old saying, be careful what you wish for? Mm -hmm. Legend has it that Sarah Winchester called spirits here every single night, and she lived for 90 years. Think about how many years she called spirits here every single night. She wanted to appease the evil spirits, and she felt that this was more like, look, I'm doing what you want. I'm not quite sure that she knew what she was doing, and I believe that she could have attracted any single type of entity. It's, it's like going into a prison saying, okay, everybody, just let's come and have a chat with me. Okay. My wife was like, what happens if you go to this place where all these spirits are supposed to be, all these ghosts, and you bring some home? Do they ever follow you? I want to help you close a door and throw out the key. Because if you don't, sure, whatever this is can follow you. You won't even know it. It can be subtle. You start becoming lethargic. They start feeding off of your whole energy system. Wow. And they can hang with you for years. Okay. We'll take a walk. Okay, when I was here, that's exactly how I felt. When we were inside taking the tour, I didn't, I did not sense anything. As soon as I stepped outside, I felt heavy. There was a heaviness on me, like I'm carrying something. You're carrying energy for two people, like when you're pregnant. Well, not, you wouldn't know about that, but. Okay, so um, the front of the house is where the picture was taken. The photo was taken by Samantha, this woman that I was with. She took the photo of the front of the house. We hadn't looked at the picture because she took it and we got in the car. We stopped right after here. A woman had a sign in front of her house, um, you know, for, for readings. And we went in and she immediately said, you, I feel that you had, you just had a major connection with somebody. Did you take anything from the house? You took a picture. <laughs> You'll see. This is the front of the house and right there, <gasps> there's the, Oh my gosh, yes, look at this. Okay, what, first of all, what is this, what is this light? I see parallel lines connected right to this person. Oh, wow. Okay, and it's energy, it's all energy. This is definitely an image of a, of a man. I wanna tell you what I'm picking up on. Okay, wait a minute. I've just got a surge coming through my body. OK. Some people do randomly just see a ghost going through dimensions. Mm -hmm. that, that happens. But not something like this. Something like this is profound. You connected to this man. Or I should say this is where the man connected to you. Why me? There's a parallel of, you, of your life and, the, and their life. But I'm not sure what the parallel is. All right, why don't we kind of take a walk and see? Spirits are roaming all around this property. I picked that up. But I don't feel that they're only contained in the structures. I feel like they're all out here as well. Wow. I came here to tune into you, your energy, and your experience. This is something that's drawing me in. This is definitely the first stop on our journey. OK. Carriage house. Not to freak you out or anything, but when I tune in to help someone, the night before that I'm about to really do this big connection, it's not uncommon that people start coming early. So. Last night, like, I started getting glimpses. Whoever this guy was, he had a goatee, deep set eyes. I could tell he was dressed like in another century. Wow. And. Like a soldier, maybe. Well, he wasn't dressed very fancy. If he was a soldier, he was not wearing a soldier outfit. But I feel that this may be who you saw. Wow. And I just want to tell you, he looked mean, and I kind of felt like he was 
coming to almost threaten me. Why did he show up? Is he good? Is he bad? These are all the questions. I don't know yet, and I can't zero in yet, but this guy has something very much in common with you. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I'm a good guy. <laughs> I'm not a bad guy. Who are you trying to convince, me? <laughs> exactly. Or you? <laughs> exactly. Yeah? Yeah. What's around here? There's something in here. This, this is the sure. creepier room for sure. See, now you're sensing that. I am sensing that. I'll tell you. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say his initial is A. He's, uh, he's the A Al guy. But I just got a whole nother uh, perspective on what this was. I almost feel like he, either he got migraines a lot, or he, they deemed him with a brain disorder. He feels it was unfair. I'll tell you, back then, you had anything wrong with your brain, people thought you were possessed. I know that for a fact because our oldest son, like I told you, has epilepsy. The term grand mall. What does that mean? The big evil. That's what oh. it transfers. That's what it directly, the definition of. Hold on a second. As soon as you said that, you know what I saw? They were like, they, they did leeches on him. Leeches on his body. Wow. To suck out whatever, like, they thought it was. But he, I just saw, like, I, think an infection, or they thought an infection went to his brain. I'm just trying to understand what happened to this guy, and I'm seeing leeches on him, and I feel his anger towards the military. Nobody understood mental conditions no, back then at I, all. You're so right. As People a matter were of fact, sent away to institutions. Does Colorado mean anything to you? Not. Have you been there? I've been to Colorado. When? Um, my wife and I were there uh, when we drove cross country. Somehow this guy connects to that area. I'm seeing it in my head. The Colorado thing is the link. How long ago approximately was that? 23 years ago, 24 years ago. Is this the only time you were there? No, I've also driven through Colorado um, after my son had brain surgery. We had to drive home from Chicago. And we had to drive because you can't, you can't be at a high altitude after brain surgery. So we're driving and Jake had a seizure. We're like, he just had brain surgery. Why is he having a seizure? I called our neurologist and I'm like, what's going on? And the guy said, where are you? And I said, I'm in Colorado. And he said, get out of the mountains. That's altitude. That's why you can't fly. So it was what like, does that do to the brain? Altitude is where oxygen is thinner. So that's why people that hike, they ha there's, a, well, there's a certain medicine that you take to convince your brain that you have more oxygen so you don't have seizures when you hike. <gasps> so you don't want altitude. You can't, you can't be in high places. I don't really know the outcome yet, but this is falling into place for me. Why don't we go to the front where this picture was snapped? I'll get some kind of clarity, I feel, or I'll get more information. But I have to tell you that when you just said what you said, I'm kind of feeling that's, remember what I kept saying to you? Yeah. There's something that you have in common. Yeah, well, that was a very memorable experience in Colorado. And we I knew it. Yeah. I knew it. 